Hi there, thanks for watching. Today I wanted to talk about a drink that is not generally associated with James Bond. One that almost certainly you come across far more in your life than vodka martinis. And maybe you've got this at home in your fridge. Or even better, got one in your hand right now. I'm talking about beer. While he may not have touched it much while home in London, it's certainly difficult to imagine 007 ordering a pint of anything in a pub. There are several occasions in the books and the films when he does drink beer, most recently Skyfall. You may remember there was a big flap in the media when it was revealed that James Bond would be seen drinking Heineken in Skyfall, of all things. The thing that they overlooked was that he had drunk beer before, in fact as recently as Quantum of Solace, which nobody complained about as far as I know. and. If you go back to Ian Fleming's books, you'll find that beer is mentioned a few times. Fleming didn't always mention which brands Bond drinks, such as in the short story The Hildebrand Rarity, where he and Fidel Barbie lunch on chicken salad and cold beer. Or in On Her Majesty's Secret Service, when Bond celebrates his forthcoming marriage to Tracy with a former Luftwaffe pilot by eating mounds of Weisswurst and downing four steins of beer in Munich. Going by the books, the first time James Bond orders a beer is actually in Diamonds Are Forever when he and Felix Leiter stop at a roadside restaurant while driving to Saratoga. Both order Miller High Life to accompany their scrambled eggs and sausages. What else? While in a Geneva brasserie pondering the Goldfinger case, Bond orders schnapps and Lohenbrau, something he repeats in Berlin in the Living Daylights too. And uh, Lohenbrau it's uh, yeah, fairly fairly easy to find. Dates back to 1383, would you believe, and has been served at the Munich Oktoberfest every year since 1810. Um, I think that's the year it actually started. In Jamaica, while looking for Pistol Scaramanga in The Man with the Golden Gun, 007 drops by the Dreamland Cafe in Savannah Lamar. There, he orders a bottle of Red Stripe and, and later drinks one with Scaramanga. The brand appears quite prominently in the film version of Doctor No also, although uh, Bond doesn't actually drink it. But Quarrel is drinking a red stripe when Bond goes to Pussfellas, and in the fight sequence that follows in the storeroom, there are stack crates of this Jamaican beer. In the films, Budweiser appeared in Licence to Kill at the Barrelhead Bar. Bond doesn't actually get the chance to drink it because a, a fight starts out beforehand, though. And few people need an introduction to Budweiser, owing to its popularity in the United States, and now as a worldwide brand. But in most European territories, it is branded simply as Bud because of a trademark dispute with a Czech beer of the same name. Although in the UK, both beers are called Budweiser. Or they were last time I was there. The first time 007 gets to drink a beer in the films is in Quantum of Solace. And strangely enough, Despite Heineken appearing on the list of official promotional partners, Bond and Felix Light both drink bottles of Cervecita, which doesn't appear to be a genuine beer brand at all. It's um, curious that no one made a fuss of Bond drinking beer in that film, though, don't you think? And finally, there was Skyfall. While 007 does drink a bottle early in the film, the beer appears in no less than five separate scenes, which escaped the notice of most people, so it was quite subtle. The scene when Bond has a bottle of Heineken is while enjoying death, and of course it didn't mean he ditched his vodka martinis at all. It was more the right drink for the right occasion, and later in the film Bond does order a martini when he's at the casino. Okay, well, that wraps it up for James Bond and beer. With Bond 24 about to start, we'll have to wait and see whether 007 does drink beer again, but why not anyway? This is David Lee for the James Bond Dossier, and author of The Complete Guide to the Drinks of James Bond. I hope you've enjoyed this video and look forward to reading any feedback you have in the comments below. Speak to you soon.